2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. People who exclaim that sexy Italian car brands should stay away from building boring subs are usually the ones who leap to their feet in incredulous joy when they see the final result. Guilty as charged. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio takes the modern compact luxury crossover in all its elephantine two-box blandness and injects it with personality, verve, and panache. And although there are people haulers and people haulers that haul ass, none do the latter with such glamour as the Stelvio. Damn, this thing looks good. And I hate subs. Let's take stock. The Stelvio's intimidating front fascia and scudetto triangular shield communicates its business purpose in no uncertain way. The muscular and taut body side sheet metal looks fast just standing still. And the sculpted fast back tapered tailgate is a bit busy but still looks marvelous. The Stelvio is what you would expect from a design studio that won't allow function to compromise form. Never will you make an entrance in your Stelvio and have someone say, oh, that's, um, nice, expect gushing. It gets better when you get inside. Sharing the Giorgio component set of the Alfa Romeo Giulia sedan, which we have loved in both base and quadrifoglio editions, the Stelvio rides on the same 111.0-inch wheelbase but carries 1.5 inches more in overall length and about an inch more width. The interesting thing is how the Stelvio carries this incrementally larger size. Although the Giulia rightly feels like a member of the compact sedan segment, the Stelvio carries the substantial heft of a larger crossover without losing any suggestion of a compact's nimbleness. The Giorgio platform is rear-drive biased and can send 100% of engine power to the rear axle for that energetic driving feeling but up to 60% to the front wheels when added traction is needed. Over the course of a sodden, soggy day along Tennessee's Natchez Trace Parkway and surrounding winding roads, I found the Stelvio to be a new contender for the best handling SUV on the planet. Sure, Motor Trend recently tested top-end versions of the Porsche Macan, Mercedes GLC, and Jaguar F-Pace, which will scoot quicker, but if we're looking at just base models, the Alpha could very well take the crown for most fun to flog crossover. And just wait for the first quarter of 2018, when the Stelvio Quadrifoglio variant with its 505 HP, arrives to destroy all comers. But back to the matter at hand. Ignoring the wishes of sunbelt drivers and burnout-minded enthusiasts, Alfa Romeo is not offering a Stelvio rear-wheel drive variant. Rather, every Stelvio comes with all-wheel drive, sending the longitudinally mounted 2.0-liter turbo force 280 HP and 306 LVFT through a ZF8 speed automatic out to Continental Cross Contact LX Sport 235-60 R18 run flat all-season tires. Alpha claims the horsepower and torque numbers are best in class. But perhaps the most stunning number is the Stelvio's claimed 0-60 time of 5.4 seconds. This blitzes the competition, many of which cannot crack 6 seconds, yet the Stelvio gets a claim 28 miles per gallon on the highway. If there's a drawback to the Turbo 4, it's that its revs elevate so smoothly that you will hit redline far before you think the engine should, which in manual shift mode means you'll be banging harshly off the 5,500 RPM redline. It sounds so glorious from 3,200 revolutions per minute upward that you don't want the aria to end, and it is rudely interrupted at that. A tragedy. But because the ZF8 speed automatic transmission rips through shifts in less than 100 milliseconds, you'll at least be able to grab that next cog in a hurry. As with the Giulia, Alfa Romeo offers its DNA driving modes, for dynamic, normal, and fuel-efficient passage. But in the taller Stelvio, normal mode seems meant just for straight-line long-haul driving. As soon as the roads get twisty, normal mode steering feedback feels loose and sloppy. Fortunately, dynamic mode clears that up. Although there are no actual changes to the suspension settings, you do get racier traction control response and quicker reactions from the accelerator, brakes, and steering. As to be expected with thicker sidewall rubber, the Lasso's 19-inch wheels provide a bit more compliance than the performance-minded 20 inches of the Sport model. Regardless of wheel size, the double wishbone front and multi-link rear suspension proved adept to blasting the slaloming roads of the Natchez Trace well past the speed limit, shifting the Stelvio's 4,044 pounds with minimal head toss or body roll. Both the base and stiffer sport suspension are an absolute last to drive on twisty roads. When was the last time someone said that about a SUV? The anti-lock braking system, bolstering the 13-inch four-piston Brembas up front and 12.5-inch single-piston units in back, was truly impressive. 
driving a desolate stretch of wet, greasy Tennessee tarmac, I performed a controlled panic stop from high speed. In most vehicles, such a dramatic event would trigger an instant and uncomfortable kadunk 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 from the abs fighting for traction. Instead, I felt zero kickback in the brake pedal as the Stelvio dove to a quick stop without fuss. Thank you.